Hey guys, Tychonders here doing another uh, Star Wars figure review and this time it's a review for the Star Wars Force Awakens 6 inch black series Finn from the planet Jakku. Um, this is a character played by I think John Boyega, I hope I pronounced his name properly and uh, he's set, look, set to be the main one of the main heroes from the new trilogy or the new Star Wars films. As you can see, he comes with a blaster, um, which is uh, pretty much a scaled up version of the one that the 3 inch recorder inch figure comes with. Uh, the head likeness is quite good. Now one thing I will f point out with the head likeness, or with the head sculpt, is for some reason Hasbro, even though the head is cast in the same kind of plastic that the skin tone is or the, um, that the skin tone is, they actually still went ahead and kind of painted um, a skin tone over that. Not sure why, they just didn't leave it with the um, the plastic colour because sometimes that looks a bit more natural. So there's a slight difference between the colour of this face and the neck. So it's just a slight hint of difference. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. But um, I'll just bring his box in there. So on the box you have this picture of him in the corner. Um, and it has Finn Jakku written on it. And then on the back just gives a little brief bio for him. If I just pan the camera up. So it says, trained warrior desperate to escape his past. Finn is plunged into an adventure as his conscience drives him down a heroic but dangerous path. And he's number one in the Black Series for the Force Awakens. And then you just have all the normal legalese. There's also a picture, the same picture that's on the front, that's on the side, on the back of the case. And the side just says number one in red. Now, just bring the, bringing the figure back in. So he's quite articulated. So he has elbow joints. His arms can go 360 and go in, up and out. He does have a sculpted shirt, but it's a separate piece, so it's over the over the figure. But if you were to remove it, because the arms are part of the or the the coats are sculpted as part of the arms, it doesn't it would look out of place. He does have a black undershirt on, uh, kind of black trousers, and then kind of very scuffed. Uh, just bring it into focus, a very scuffed white shoes. Now, um, one of the things I've been thinking, because of the way the shoes are designed, uh, there's a lot of speculation going around about the characters and who they are and what they're doing for in the movies. For some reason I find that the 3 and quarter inch figures shoes are actually slightly bit more brighter white so it leads me to believe because in the trailer we see him in uh, as a kind of stormtrooper so I'm assuming these are remnants of his old stormtrooper uniform they're the possibly the shoes that he was wearing and it's the same with the undershirt the black undershirt I think it's the same shirt that the stormtroopers are, are wearing under their armor which is just my complete speculation about it, about the character, because in it does say that he's a trained warrior, so it looks like he's possibly a ex stormtrooper from the way the uh, trailers put, uh, make him out to be. So, and as I said, he's his legs now uh, getting back into articulation. He has a mid waist cut. For a rocker joint on his upper waist, there's uh, no um, lower waist movement. His legs are on ball joints and go and go forwards, backwards, and have a upper tie cut, so they can rotate all around and have double hinges at the knees. And he has a ball jointed uh sorry rocker joints on the ankles and feet so all in all he's very articulated um as i said he does come with the one pistol out oh, and i just note that the hands are on um hinges as well so they can go up and down for the right hand and it's in and out for the left so i'm not sure if that's picking it up on the camera uh 
so it's been a while since I've done video reviews but hopefully this will be a quick one so as I said he's wearing a resistance jacket which is similar to the one that Poe Demeron wears and the blaster as I said earlier is the same as the one that comes with the three and three quarter inch figure except it's just a scaled up version um, on all the figure looks like the same pretty much the same sculpt as the three and three quarter inch one so it is uh, very nicely sculpted very very well done and as as I said there you go there's just a quick review for the Finn Jakku figure so as I said if as I say before if you like my videos click like if you want to subscribe feel free to and if you want to um, leave a comment feel free to leave a comment as well so there you go guys just a quick review of the Finn figure uh, he's a six in, he stands six inches roughly six inches tall he's the Star Wars Black series Finn from the planet Jakku